Hey, BZB Gearheads, Chris here from BZB Gear. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, HDMI extender, the BGEXH70C. Very simple plug and play unit essentially, but just in case you got any questions, we want to make sure we cover the basis so you guys can um, not have any concerns and you know it'll work with your application. So, um, this, this unit here, so you know, supports 4K at 60 hertz, 444, uncompressed signal, up to 230 feet. Anything beyond that, we're going to have to go to a different unit. Anything under that, though, you're covered with this. So, um, let's hook these bad boys up and show you how they connect. First, we have our transmitter. Next, we have our receiver. These will be basically identified as the TX for transmitter, RX for receiver. Um, you'll notice on the transmitter, that there's two HDMIs, one input, one output. The output is actually a loop out, meaning it's mirroring the signal and it will send it to a local monitor, matrix switch, video distribution splitter, whatever uh, else you may have that's HDMI compatible. Um, also, you'll notice an IR in and IR out. So for this RX unit, if you were, for instance, to have a remote control, uh, um, basically at your display, you're gonna end up connecting into this receiver. It's gonna send the signal back into this and you're gonna connect your uh, IR out into this IR out port. You'll notice on the cable, there's an indication on the label that says IR out as well. All right, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect my other IR in to our receiver. You'll notice the same set, uh, setup here. Also an HDMI output and an SPDIF. So this goes into IR in on the receiver side, again, where the monitor is. On this RX unit, you'll notice this SPDIF port. You're gonna say, what is this thing for? Well, a lot of people um, have sound bars or sono systems located at the display. This is gonna provide that audio for those devices. So if you have a local sound bar, this is behind your TV, you run a little fiber uh, cable through the wall into the sound bar, and there you have it, you're gonna have sound going there. Um, on the other side, you'll notice a switch, SPDIF and ARC. ARC is if you're running sound back via the HDMI cable. SPDIF is if you're going to use that, eight, that fiber output for your local uh, amplifier or surround bar. So now that we have our IRs connected, let's go ahead and connect our CAT6. You're gonna use a CAT6 cable. In order to get this up to 230 feet in distance. There we go. And for our source today, my laptop will be the source. I'm gonna connect an HDMI cable that's 4K compatible. And this is gonna go into the input of the transmitter. Again, if you had another local monitor, that loop out will work out for you. Um, just need another HDMI cable. And then on this other side here, we're gonna connect our other HDMI cable, which is going to our TV display. We're gonna plug this into HDMI out. And just for fun, I don't have an amplifier sitting here right now, but this is our SPDIF or, or optical output. This is gonna plug into here. So if I did have a surround bar, that's where that would go. You'll notice this is upside down, but my cable's not cooperating. <laughs> so sometimes we go with things. Um, now what we want to do is power these guys up. So we've got all our cable connected, which is always recommended prior to powering. And then um, next, you just want to plug in the power on both sides. Power up one. Doesn't matter which one you do first. You will see a indicator light, though, um, on the sides there showing power once they are powered up. For this, because uh, I'm using a computer as a source, it'll kind of detect it. Give me a little blinkity blink. And then typically it's gonna take about 30 seconds, 25 seconds for everything to sink in, send the signal to this um, TV here. So you have to have a couple minutes of patience or 30 seconds of patience. And within about five seconds now, we should have signal. There we go, folks. The BG EXH 70C HDMI extender. Great little unit, affordable, friendly, plug and play. But if you do have any questions, feel free to hit up our tech support, leave a comment. We, uh, you can email us or uh, give us a phone call. We're always here to help our customers and happy to uh, serve you. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Hit like, subscribe, always appreciate it.